ever wonder how long you can put off something? I've been putting off this video for a long time. And not because it's about sexing rabbits. It's because it's my first YouTube video. It's here. It's now. And we're going to cover rabbit sexing today. Laura here with Cox Homestead, and I'm going to show you how to sex a rabbit, all different ages of sexing rabbits, and um, talk to you about why it's so important to know how to do this. This is one of the first skills you need to have before you ever bring a rabbit onto your homestead, to your home, because if you don't know what you're getting, you might end up with two different genders and lots of babies. So. I'm gonna start with this rabbit here. This rabbit is about six weeks old. This is a New Zealand rabbit. Um, it's not a pedigree, so there's probably some mix in there somewhere along the line. We use rabbits predominantly for meat production, um, and we sell some for pets as well. So, how I like to sex a rabbit is I turn them on their backside. This kind of relaxes them. For some, this is a controversial way to, to, to hold a rabbit. For me, I found this is the best, most efficient way for me to check the gender of a rabbit. So, I have it here on its backside, and then I'm going to take two fingers and hold its tail. I'm going to take my other two fingers on each side of its genital area here, and see that sticking out, how it's kind of elongated? I call that a taco. This is a female. You're looking for an elongated shape with a female. See that? That means it's a girl. I'll show you a boy, and you can see the difference. This is a girl, and so I have in her ear a one. I use one for girls, two for boys, and I uh, sexed all of them yesterday. Here is another rabbit from the same litter, but this one is a buck. So again, six weeks old, New Zealand. We call these a red, white, red eyes, white fur. Gonna lay it on its back. I kind of nestle it in my arm here. Take these two fingers, hold the tail there. Take these two fingers. Press it on side of the, the, the bottom there. Whoops, sorry, let me readjust. Two fingers, two fingers. I'm pressing along the sides here, right, right by that butt. Okay, see that protruding? That is coming out and it's a round shape. See that? I'm trying to get all the angles here. This hole back here is the buttocks. And you're going to press, and what you're pressing is the genital that protrudes is what, how you sex the, sex the rabbit. So, I'm going to get a different angle and show you this again. Here we are at a more relaxed angle for me, and hopefully you'll be able to see again. I, can't, I, I believe you can't have too many examples when it comes to this, because you want to know how to do this correctly. Okay, so I have the tail between my two fingers, my other two fingers, I'm pressing two fingers. They're dirty. I've been working today planting seeds. Okay, can you see that protruding? I'm going to give it a second to focus here. So, that's the, that's the anus right there. Sometimes there's poop that will come out when you're doing this. Right there. But you're looking at the, the genital part above it when you're pressing. So that is a boy. Alright, and for boys, I use the number two. So in his ear, you will find a two. I use a Sharpie. This will last about two weeks, and maybe just a week. Depends on how much they're cleaning. But up to two weeks, it can last in their ear. All right. Now I have about a 12 week old buck, and I want to show you um, how it looks different than the six week old. I'm gonna take him, lay him on his back, snug between my arm. This keeps them from squirreling away everywhere. Or I guess you would say rabbiting away. All right, again, same thing, even though he's bigger. I'm taking two fingers, holding that tail down. I'm gonna use my other two fingers here. There's a lot more fur happening down here. But I'm looking to press down on the side of this pink fleshy area and watch for what protrudes. So it's a little bit longer now. A little bit more predominant you can tell. All right now I am back with a 16 week old buck that is uh, as I use the terms due for dispatch meaning processing the rabbit for meat purposes. We use the term dispatch. Um, some people use coal. 
which cull also means removing from your colony. So um, in our case, I feel like dispatch is the best term we can use to describe the process of taking its life to feed our family. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera and show you what it looks like at 16 weeks. Same process as the other age. This one's a little bit feistier. I'm keeping a little bit tighter grip here on the backside as I roll it over. And I have to keep a little bit tighter grip here because of its personality. I can tell it's really wanting to fight me. And so I want to keep it secure. All right. So longer tail. Look how long the tails are getting with age. Did you notice that? And I'm holding the tail here with my two fingers still yet. Taking these two fingers, placing on each side. And you will see that is... Um, much more pronounced than um, it was at six weeks, even at 12 weeks, it's even more pronounced. And at this age, you can look in here and see the testicles as well. See all that pink fleshy on both sides of it? It has developed its testicles. So as you can see, there are different progresses in developmental of the genital area based on their age and uh, you just kind of got to know what to be looking for that so I've showed you bucks from six weeks 12 weeks and 16 weeks I have some little babies I'm gonna get those next and show them to you now I am back with Harry someone on Instagram helped me name him today I think he's quite cute I might have to keep him but this is a New Zealand red ish it's not a full red because it's partly white isn't it cute okay I'm just ooing over my rabbit. Don't you want to know how to sex it? Okay. I For these little guys, they're so little, like can about hold it in my hand and do this. Um, so I just kind of, same thing, lay it back, but in my hand. But I'm gonna take that little tail with these two fingers. Um, and then I'm gonna take these two fingers. And y'all, it's so small. But see how it's protruding and it's a round, it's a round protrusion. Let's see if I can get this in the camera just right. I may have to do a still shot here. But it protrudes a round shape. When it's a girl, it protrudes a um, long shape, like a taco. Burrito is boy, long shape, taco is a girl. I will show you some more girls here soon. Now I am back with a three week old doe. This is a fawn color from that same litter as the hairy I just had. And I'm going to show you what a doe looks like at this age. Does are a little hard to tell um, on camera, especially just because it's so little. But we're gonna give it our best try. Right, darling? Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Right back in my hand. Take two fingers, hold the tail, two fingers here. All right, again, this is a little hard to see, but what is coming out is a, a line. It is not a round circle. I'm gonna take a picture of this and add it here so you can see um, a little bit better what it is. Look at that cuteness. How can you not love rabbits? Nom, nom, nom. So I'm back with one final sexing to show you. And this is a grown adult doe. She is a little over a year old now. She was born January, 2021. And so she has had multiple litter. She is a great mama. I am going to turn her over and show you what a grown adult looks like. All right, I'm doing the same thing here with the tail. I have her tail between my two fingers and I'm gonna use these other two fingers and press down. And you will see what comes out is a slit. Do you see the shape of that? It is long, it is a slit. There are no testicles on the side to be seen. Um, this is a grown toe. Good job, Bonnie. So why is this so important to know if you have girls or boys? Gestation period on a rabbit is 28 to 35 days. So let's say you bring home two rabbits, a boy and a girl, you're gonna have little buns 32 days later. 32 is the average, 31, 32, that's about the average of, of when mine kittle, kindle. Kindle is the process of birthing in rabbit turns. 
<laughs> I hope you found it helpful to see the different stages of um, genitals to kind of know when you get your rabbit depending on its age what it should look like what to expect and if you like what you learned today go ahead and subscribe save this send it to a friend that has rabbits that maybe doesn't know what gender rabbit they have um, let's help control the pet population or turn them into meat rabbits thanks for watching